are you saying people it's myself Moron. welcome back to another video on my channel where we talk about trainers streetwear life and everything in between as you already know we're on the road to make 100 videos we're about 10 percent of the way there so i really need you guys to like the videos share them with your friends and subscribe to the channel without further ado let's get straight into the video The shoes that we're going to talk about today are these. The Yeezy Foam Runner in the Mineral Blue colorway. Despite the name of the shoe, I'm just not too sure how to classify the shoe. I wouldn't really call it a sneaker or any sort of shoe or trainer. I wouldn't really call it a flip-flop. I'm not really too sure how I classify the shoe. I would definitely say that this is Yeezy's answer to the Croc, as the Croc is the only piece of footwear that can really say it's comparable to these piece of shoes. As we know, this silhouette originally debuted with the Sand colorway, which took the internet by storm and had social media going crazy, and was a pair that I was particularly interested in getting because I do like the Sand colorways and the Earth Tones from Kanye, and I was really fascinated by this silhouette. We then saw the Moon Grey colorway, which had this kind of tie-dye design at the front and at the back of the shoe, and that made it again quite interesting, as we can see on StockX, it's definitely one of the pairs or at least the pair of foam runners that is the most coveted and that is reflected in the high resale price of £300. That being said, I thought the mineral blues would be the colorway that would sell the best, carrying the same silhouette and also being a color that I thought would be more wearable, especially for people in the UK that generally tend to wear darker colors. But surprisingly, resale hasn't been as high as some of the other colorways and I think I understand why. Fortunately, I was able to pick this up in one of the raffles in my first Foot Patrol win and I managed to get this for the retail price of £70. The resale prices for the Mineral Blue seem to have been dropping, although they are staying around the 160 to 170 mark at least of this week and I think I can understand why. I do think that over the years we've just come to appreciate some of Kanye's earth tones and more of his lighter colours and so we're used to his bone colourways, his torpes, his sand colourways and some of the other colours that he does release and I do feel that although this colour is a more wearable colour in general, this colour that I would describe as a midnight navy, I do think that unfortunately it doesn't help us to appreciate the silhouette as much as the sand colorway does and the moon gray colorway does. We do have these dark green or black undertones that can be seen throughout the shoe. However, you can only really see them in the right light and you have to be sitting quite close and looking at them quite hard to be able to see some of the undertones and really appreciate what is going on with the design of the shoe. So the Yeezy Foam Runners do come slightly different to all of the other Yeezys that I've collected in the past. The box is the same colour, however it doesn't show any branding on the outside of the box whatsoever. The only thing that I have on my pair is a small size labelling saying size 11 and a barcode. On the inside of the box, on the reverse side of the lid, we do have the letters F-O-A-M for foam and we have at the back of the box R-N-N-R -N -N for runner. Underneath all of the wrapping paper and the shoes, we do have the traditional labeling tag that you would generally see on the outside of the box that gives you the size labeling and the name of the colorway. As opposed to some of the other shoes as well, both shoes did come individually wrapped in some wrapping paper, which was quite a nice touch. Moving into the shoe itself, it does seem like the entire shoe was 3D printed from one piece of rubber. Starting from the sole, we do have some slight grooves in the sole, which offer traction and we have three deeper grooves and in the larger groove we do have the Adidas logo embossed in the sole. Moving into the top of the shoe, at the front of the shoe we have this diamond like formation that has five rows and several holes in them as well and on either of the lateral sides of the shoe we do have a completely symmetrical design. We have two holes towards the front, we have a number of lines towards the side which almost looks like the same as an Adidas branding and we have these three larger holes that get progressively larger as we move towards the back of the shoe. Speaking of the back of the shoe, the heel is raised and it is similar to at least what I remember of the Yeezy 380s that has that slightly raised heel, but that also does make this shoe quite comfortable. 
Moving to the inside of the shoe, there's not really anything special going on here. We do have Foam Runner made in China embossed on one of the sides. Although there is no laces, we do have this slightly narrower opening that does help to keep your foot on the shoe. I would say here that although the shoes are called the Foam Runners, I definitely wouldn't use them for running because there's nothing to actually keep them stable on your feet. I imagine it's something that you use for short walks, casual strolls, maybe quick runs to the supermarket and could also double as a driver shoe as well. As I mentioned before, upon closer inspection, you can see some dark green highlights. They're most noticeable towards the back of the shoe. However, they are covering the entire shoe. In terms of sizing, I would definitely recommend that you go at least two sizes up from your normal Yeezy size. I am a UK 9.5 slash UK 10, more towards the UK 9.5 side and unfortunately there weren't any half sizes in the Yeezy foam runner. However, the 11s just fit a little bit too snug on my feet and when I did try on some 12s at the local consignment store, they were just a little bit too big. But that's pretty much it for the Yeezy Foam Runner in the Mineral Blue. I did manage to pick these up from Foot Patrol, which I wasn't particularly happy about. It is my first win from Foot Patrol, and I do love the store as it's quite low key, quite chilled. The members of staff there are quite relaxed and just makes it a more pleasurable shopping experience. Sometimes going into Selfridges, going to Ospring and their flagship store can be a little bit suffocating. The only bad thing, however, was that the shoe didn't come double boxed, unfortunately. And so because of that, it was damaged on some of the sides. Let me know if you found this video useful. Let me know if you managed to pick up a pair of the Yeezy Foam Runners in the mineral blue colorway. It's myself, Moro. There'll be many more videos coming to the channel soon. Peace.